In my previous video, I demonstrated how to export your MIDI song file loaded in Cakewalk by BandLab to an MP3 file. If you like to watch that video, click the link in the above or in the description and you can always come back and continue watching this one. Because in this video, I'm going to demonstrate how to convert each of the MIDI tracks with its associated instrument sound from TTS1 virtual instrument into an audio track for further processing, mixing and then exporting. If you haven't watched my previous video of how to import a MIDI song file into Cakewalk by BandLab and then add TTS1 virtual instrument to generate the audio of each of the instruments, again, click the link above or in the description and watch how to do that so you are at the same stage as where I am now, so that you can understand why there are four outputs. Continuing, I'm just going to double click to open up my TTS1 virtual instrument. Here I'm going to go to the system again and options. In my previous example, I ticked this box, use multiple outputs, so I can direct each of the different instruments into four of the outputs which was available. In this example, I'm going to untick that and close it. Close the system settings. Also under the effect, I'm going to turn off my reverb because I want to control the reverb when I'm mixing the audio tracks. Now, Cakewalk's TTS-1 is back to its default Stereo output at output 1 setting. Let's check this out by quickly having a listen. Sure enough, we can see output 1 is the only one that we are receiving audio to. I'm going to select 12, 13 and 14, output 2, 3 and 4 and remove them. as we will no longer require them. To have a stereo audio track of the complete song, in Cakewalk this is quite easy. We can go to the Synth track, find TTS1, and there's a button called Freeze Synth. By clicking this, Cakewalk will take all of the MIDI, play it through TTS1, and record the stereo output onto the TTS1 output 1 track. Here we go. Sure enough, we can see an audio track under TTS-1 output. You can mute all of the tracks, the MIDI tracks, and have, let's have a listen to the audio. And now we can treat this stereo audio track as our final mix and we can use our even the pro channel to add some compression. Let's put the start here. EQ All ready for exporting. Now that is all fine if we want to export simply a stereo track with a little bit of EQ and compression and have MP3 or a WAV file exported. Now what if we want to have more control rather than adjusting MIDI levels using our console because this control the MIDI levels as you can see on the faders it says 127. What if we control audio? How do we convert each of these MIDI tracks into audio? It's a little bit lengthy but I'll show you one and two of them 
and then you can understand the rest and you can do for the rest of them. Unfortunately, there is no easy way for quickly to export each of the tracks like freezing it. We just have to do it one at a time. So let's start. We have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Piano one, piano one, as you can see. I don't believe they have any MIDI information. I just re uh, realized. So I'm just going to select those two and delete those empty tracks as well. So we have eight MIDI tracks that we want to convert into audio tracks. Click Add Tracks. I'm going to select none for the input. I'm going to want eight of them. And then click Create, making sure that we are creating audio tracks. Done. First one. Let's start with drums. And then the next one, bass, and so on. You get the idea. So first, I'm going to mute all of the other tracks other than the drums. Now go to Tracks and say Bounce to Tracks. Here I'm going to select my drums track as my destination. Source category, I want Tracks. This time I want to select just the TTS1 audio output as stereo. I'm going to leave everything as, as is and I'm going to click OK. And let Cakewalk mix down the MIDI into an audio and place it in my drums track. Let's open it up and have a look. There we go. So let's solo that one out. And let's have a listen to this track. And it's just drums. Okay, so let's mute that. This time, I'm going to mute that. And my bass is the next one. So making sure that my finger bass is not muted, my TTS output is not muted. Right with the beginning, not that it matters. Bounce tracks. This time I want my bass as my destination. Now one thing you need to make sure that you are selecting your TTS output when before you go into bounce tracks. Bass. TTS1 output. And there we go. We've got drums and bass. Now we can edit them and mix them just like any other audio file. Perhaps we might even add our own guitars and keyboards and vocals to this track and then mix it down and export it as a WAV file or an MP3 file. Well, I hope this was helpful. If it was, make sure you give me the thumbs up. And as always, thanks for watching and have a great time making music. Cheerio, guys.